Good day, this is Jane and Weekday News. I'm Lefane Wigan. Here now are the top stories. The bodies of the nine-year-old twin brothers who disappeared in the North Gully during heavy rains in St. James yesterday afternoon have been found. Mayor of Montego Bay, Glendon Harris, reported that the bodies of Brandon and Braden Jones were found at Dumpup Beach along Howard Cook Boulevard. The bodies were removed from a canal by the Marine Police about 8.50 a.m. The boys were on their way home from the Green Pond Primary School when one reportedly climbed on a rail and then fell off into the gully. His brother reportedly tried to help but also fell in the gully. There are mixed reactions from the National Council of Taxi Associations in Kota to changes to the vehicle age requirements for public passenger vehicles. The requirement takes effect on July 1. A statement from the Transport Authority said the requirements, which will apply to renewals and new applications, will ensure that vehicles are of the highest safety standards. While Encota is pleased that the new system will incorporate old vehicles, its president, Dion Chance, has concerns about the criteria and vehicle specifications. He says this information needs to be made known beforehand. Mr. Chance is calling for a policy that will establish the vehicles that are acceptable. For the renewal of applications, all sedans and station wagons over 12 years old, minibuses more than 15 years old and buses 25 years or older will have to undergo a structural integrity test. This will be administered by the Island Traffic Authority. The Meteorological Service has stated that moderate to heavy showers and isolated thunderstorms will affect northern and southwestern parishes today. The Met Service added this is due to a trough currently over the island, which is expected to continue influencing weather conditions until tomorrow. Projections are for widely scattered showers to continue over northern parishes. As the instability persists, showers and thunderstorms, which could be heavy at times, are expected. Meanwhile, the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, is warning that with the country in one of the traditionally peak periods of rainfall, the public should take precautionary measures. ODPEM is advising that children should avoid playing in waterlogged areas and avoid walking barefooted outside as sharp objects may have been trapped in stagnant water. And in sports, Montego Bay United is now celebrating their third hold on the Red Stripe Premier League title following their emphatic 5-2 win over Waterhouse in the final at the National Stadium last night. Dino Williams and Omar Gordon were the heroes for Mabay. Williams scored three times with goals in the 26th, 58th and 78th minutes, while Gordon netted in the 64th and 69th minutes. Romario Campbell in the 43rd minute and Marley Samuels in the 81st minute scored the consolation goals for Waterhouse, who were losing for the first time under coach Anthony Patrick, who took over in February. This was Mabe United, formerly Seba United's first National Premier League title since the 1996-1997 season. The team, coached by Dr. Dean Weatherly, is basking in their third Premier League title for the Montego Bay-based club, which won the competition at Seba United in 1987 and 1997 before changing its name to Montego Bay United in 2011. In addition to winning the trophy, they took home the winning prize money of $2.5 million. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lafayne Wigan, and this is JNN, news worth watching.